Is everyone ready? It is pretty crazy that we played three nights here. That's amazing. You know, we started opening for bands. What year was that, Paul? 2013. 2013 was the first time we played here. We opened for Road Earth, like Galactic. But still, like, we're about to play our 10th time here, and I'm still kind of like... We played one night twice, two nights once, and now we're playing three nights. So it's like, all of a sudden... It escalated pretty quickly. It escalated very quickly. That's something to think of us as just like we're just uh, we're just five dudes that are friends and play music. And yeah, like... we hope we, we hope we make it someday. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody bought the house next door to me recently, so I meet my new neighbor, and they're like, "What do you do?" I'm like, "I play music." She's like, "Cool, like where do you play?" And it was the day before our three night Red Rock stand. She's at my new neighbor's asking me this question. She's like, "What?" She, you what? You're probably in like your swim trunks too. Yeah. <laughs> like just like shirtless in the backyard. Like, hey! Totally. I couldn't have picked a better day of the year to meet my new neighbor. It was awesome. Had they heard of our band? <laughs> That's what's Tiffany. funny. When they ask you that and you're like, well, I played three nights at Red Rocks and they're like, what are you called? And the Green Sky Blue Guys, they're like, hmm. Still no one knows who we are. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Green Sky Blue Guys, <laughs> my neighbor does though. Woo! You know, the arc of a show is the key to a lot of music experience. We come from sort of the jam band background of Fish and Grateful Dead, where you play two sets of music. The arc of the show is what makes it hard because you can't just plug and play anything anywhere, you know. I spent a lot of time working on set lists for this weekend here because Red Rocks is important and Red Rocks is special to us and special to everybody that comes here. I think it's pretty challenging though because we have to remember a lot of songs. Not just remember how to play them, but remember to play them. We'll probably get through this whole weekend and then I'll drive home tonight and I'll be like, we didn't play this. Man, we, we forgot this. about this song, and that would have fit perfect there. We play real strange covers sometimes too, pop songs, just really ridiculously stupid songs. Recently, we've been listening to Tub Thumping by Chumbawamba. We have. So I started. Yeah. Listening yeah. Listening let's, to not, that let's not call that a yeah. we. Let's, let's not call that a we. We've been listening to Tub Thumping. <laughs> Paul's having trouble admitting that he Paul's alone was listening drunk. to Chumbawamba. Like, I don't know. I have that no one shame. One I get knocked out. Not anything wrong But I get up again. Okay. I think we take risks. I think we're willing for the sake of like fun and adventure. Maybe do things that Experience. are gonna maybe turn out not as we expected. <laughs> maybe not as awesome as we hoped. It can also like peak in these pinnacles of like this musical spontaneity that uh, yeah. really lands and really hits home. And in that sort of like uh, adventurous spirit, I think we have this bond with our fans where I think they come on that ride with us and it can be pretty fun. Go ahead and call the babysitter, you're gonna be late. <laughs> 